The pilgrimage came to a fork of two rivers and decided to settle. They erected two pyramids and began their new lives as protectors of the box. I don't have enough space for that. As it was foretold, heralded by the column of flame burning through the night, and the destruction of our temples, and the warnings of the weeping woman and the two-headed man, the strange warriors astride great deer arrived with the rising sun. They murdered the weak leaders and claimed the land and the people as their own. <laughs> The people of the Andes have been perfecting the art of weaving for thousands of years. 
This chuspas is a wonderful example, woven of llama or alpaca hair and traditionally used to carry cocoa leaves. It clearly highlights the weaver's skill. Beautiful. It's a bit humbling to be here in Paititi. I didn't foresee any of this. I was expecting an ancient place, artifacts, tombs. I just failed to imagine people. I was so focused on the trail of clues, I didn't even stop to wonder. I didn't mean to interfere, but Trinity's here. The Aztec used these to burn incense so they could communicate with the gods. Still smells of copal. The peak of this mountain is hidden behind thick clouds. I can't be sure what these two smaller hills on either side of the mountain are supposed to represent. How can these shapes be Incan when they look like airplanes? Oh. I see, they're insects of some sort. Archaeology is a very delicate field of study. You have to put yourself in the mindset of people and cultures who died centuries before you were even born. Humans interpret strange phenomena based on what they already know. If the Inca had seen planes, they might have assumed they were some sort of bird. Given that, these shapes may not be insects after all. Some of them look more like fish.
Tolly is said to be one of the oldest games in America, played by all walks of life. Players were known to gamble all of their worldly possessions over a single round, from blankets and precious stones to their homes and even their family's freedom. The god of art and games, Mackwell Shoktal, is considered an active participant in the game, responsible with bestowing offerings upon the winner. So much on the line for a simple game. Some things never do change. This describes something nearby. Canals bring water to the arid parts of the village, and they washed me away. All full up. Can't carry any more. All full up. Can't carry any more. I don't have enough space for that. Someone's taken this old walkie-talkie apart. Were they making an attempt at reverse engineering, I wonder? Last. heavy breasted woman wearing serpents around her waist. This is Kwatli Q, whose name literally means skirt of snakes. She's also called Tetio Enan, the mother of the gods. She gave birth to the moon and the stars and had over 400 children, including the sun god, Witsli Apokli, who was also god of war. In addition to being a mother, she's seen as the devourer of all that lives. It's said that she was herself sacrificed to bring about this current age of creation. This garishly decorated fire drill appears to be a part of the new fire ceremony, an Aztec celebration of the new year. 
It consists of five days of fasting, bloodletting, and sacrifice. The fire drill is meant to be placed upon the chest of the freshly sacrificed. It sparks, feeding a large bonfire that ignites the flames of every nearby temple. This one, however, doesn't appear to have been used, as the notches are clear of blood. This depicts the story of Viracocha, the father of all creation. He formed the heavens, the earth, the sun and stars, the moon, time itself and all living beings, including the other gods. At first, Viracocha was considered to be the supreme god of the Inca, but with time that honor passed to his son, Inti, the god of the sun. Still, Viracocha retained his link to the sea. His name literally means fat or foam of the sea. Unaratu approached the throne through the crowd. She walked beside it, but did not sit. Why do we continue to believe this lie? She asked the crowd. Kukul Khan controls this city, and I will no longer wear a smile and pretend it is any different. I will not be his puppet, trotted out to wave and smile. The guards cut her off quickly and ushered her away. Then they advanced, with weapons drawn to disperse the crowds. Villager claims to have seen a strange creature in the streets. They followed it to a walled-in alley where it disappeared. Citizen describes similar experience in Upper City. Woke to discover something trying to climb in a second-story window. When she yelled, it dropped the street and disappeared. We'll continue to monitor.
Hittites made peace with each other and followed Yaska Yahweh, recently acclaimed as emperor, to a site in the mountains to begin anew, certain they will not make the same mistakes as those before them. An Aztec influence mask, decorated with items native to the area around Paititi. Maya and Inca stood shoulder to shoulder against their brothers on one side, those who wished to retreat and start fresh, and those who wished to expand and conquer neighboring territories. <laughs> Ill-suited to the local land, the Maya's agriculture techniques of slash and burn soon led to a food shortage. At the risk of starvation, they entered into treaties with local pre-Inca tribes, gaining new technologies and crops. The traders arrived, bringing new goods, and then the farmers, with new crops and techniques. Eventually, as more and more of the outsiders arrived in Paititi, they eventually took administrative control. <laughs> This staff has a jewelry-rigged flintlock mechanism similar to those from European firearms. The cultist priests must have used this during their ceremonies to all the crowds. Each Taka of the cult of Kukul Khan vows to tie his coat to that of Yutu, descendant of the Maya. Lacking any family of his own, each Taka will live with the parents of Yutu until such time that they have built their own home and hearth. Yutu vows to tie her coat to that of each Taka. She will bear him many children, which they will raise according to the traditions of both their peoples. We leave the city at first light, which is just as well, for a terrible disease has spread across it. Dead and dying line the paths and choke the streams. Many are saying it is punishment from the gods. Journal of Adelantado Perez
24th of November, 1603. I accompanied Andreas Lopez, a group of 12 soldiers and two molosses through the jungle. The directions the Jesuits provided to Trinity were excellent, so we discovered the hidden city with little difficulty. The natives of the city welcomed us warily, but we plied them with gifts, and they reluctantly allowed us to enter the city, unaware of our true intentions. Lopez has begun to search for the artifact while we distract the city's leaders. anymore. <gasps> Hoon Bats and Hoon Chowen were twin brothers, older half-siblings of the more celebrated Maya hero twins. Jealous of their brothers, the monkey twins would always cheat during football matches and ruin them with their aggressive tactics. In retaliation, the hero twins lured them up a tree, a tree which never stopped growing, preventing Hoon Bats and Hoon Chowin from getting down. The hero twins convinced them that they could use their belts to climb down, but this turned out to be another trick, and the belts became tails, turning the elder twins into monkeys. Mirror one to the left. Follow the beam of light to mirror two. Direct mirror two across the chamber diagonally. Return to mirror one. These seem to be instructions of some kind, but I can't make out the rest. must have arrived at the right time. It looks like the cultists were just here. All 
full up. Can't carry any more. <clears throat> the worthy may call upon Kinichahal. Use his light to chase the shadows from your hearts in the city itself. Last long if I fall in the water.
need to create a path to Mirror 2. Shark was a very important god to the Maya. He taught them farming secrets and oversaw growing in the harvest. Generally, he was associated with all forms of fertility. He was also in charge of wind, lightning, and rain, which was caused by his tears. He was in charge of preserving springs, wells, streams, cenotes, and other sources of water. Like the aspects over which he presided, he was considered benevolent and caring, but unpredictable. Physically, Shark was depicted as a reptile with hair tangled and unruly knots, and his colors were white, red, yellow, and black, representing north, east, south, and west. Divine Canoe, which carries Maya souls through the underworld and into the sky, is directed by two gods. Old Stingray Paddler sits in the back of the canoe and handles the duties during the day, while Old Jaguar Paddler sits in the front and takes care of the night shift. These two gods symbolize not only light and darkness, day and night, but also the interdependence of all equal and opposite forces. Yeah. <laughs> 
Is chock of full. It's difficult to make out. People settled between two rivers. They weren't alone. However, these outsiders don't appear dangerous. Come to plunder, outsider. Great warriors have failed the challenges. The hidden places offer rich rewards, if you survive. What are you talking about? A rite of passage. A test to separate the corn from the stock. A trial that all cultist warriors must face. Nothing for the likes of you. <laughs> you have no idea what I'm capable of. Then find the path of battle. See if you and your arrogance can survive it.
This figure must be the Nowl, the mythological beast stalking the outskirts of Paititi. Maya goddess Ishel, like moon goddesses in many other cultures, was also a mother deity associated with pregnancy and childbirth. The natural phenomena over which she presided included waterfalls, rainstorms, and rainbows. She was also the goddess of all crafts, such as watercolor painting and weaving, which she invented. But she wasn't exclusively nurturing. Her hair consisted of living serpents. She wore a skirt made of bones, and she had a legendary temper. I don't have enough space for that. Obsidian blades, never dull. Kukul Khan says they won't fear us if we are not capable warriors. 
and to become capable we must complete the tests their people have made. These Pytitians know nothing of war. Their blades and spear tips have dulled. I will complete their rituals, and I will show them the true might of those who follow Kugul Khan. The gate's open. Now I'll just have to get over there. Those who imagine themselves brave and bold, see if you can survive the trials awaiting within. Those who do will have earned their status as warriors. that, or lower it somehow. The arms need to be raised somehow. Tim's arms have folded in.
think I might be able to climb this. 